Hi there. My name is Lorene Leedy, and I'm a children's book author and illustrator. Today we're going to talk a little bit about turtles. This is a photograph of a box turtle that we were rescuing. He had been in the middle of the road. And like other turtles you may have seen, he's got a nice hard shell. He's got four little legs that he walks around on. Now he's not very fast, but if he gets uh, worried and feels like he's in danger, he can pull his legs and his head into the shell and nobody can bother him. He's also got scales on his skin and he's got this little pointy beak to eat with and no teeth. So he's very typical of many turtles. But let me show you a different type of a turtle. This is a sea turtle. And in some ways, sea turtles are the same as other turtles. They have shells to protect their body. They have scales on their skin. And there's his pointy beak to eat with, no teeth. But in other ways, sea turtles are very different. Of course, the big thing is they have flippers in front and in back to swim with. And they're not slow compared to other turtles. They're a lot quicker because when you see them swimming, it looks like they're flying underwater because it's very similar to how a bird flies, except they're swimming. <laughs> and another uh, thing that's different is they cannot pull their heads into their shell. They're just not built that way. And of course, sea turtles eat different things than turtles that live on the land. They, sea turtles might eat jellyfish or they might eat fish or they might eat plants, depending on what type of sea turtle they are. And this illustration comes from this book that I wrote and illustrated called Tracks in the Sand. And let me blow this picture up so that you can see. This is a brand new baby sea turtle that just hatched out of the egg and he's got his shell, he's got his flippers, and he's got his scaly skin and his little pointy beak so he's ready to go. Just like uh, the grown-up sea turtles, he just needs to get back in the ocean and start swimming around and grow up. And that's what this book is about, is the life story of sea turtles and how they live their lives in the ocean except when they need to lay their eggs. Then the female crawls out of the ocean, digs a hole in the sand, lays her eggs, and then she goes back into the ocean, leaving those little eggs behind, just covered up with a few inches of sand. And that's what this book is about. And I hope you've enjoyed finding a little bit about sea turtles and how they're the same as other turtles and how they're different. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.